Hey, what's up everyone? It's all back. Today I'm gonna speak about the fact that it's 20 day I quit weed and I'm gonna speak about the benefit, how I feel, and yeah, why you should do it too. Um I had a hard time to control myself. I feel like someone who smoke weed like once per week, twice per month, shit like that. It's it's not too bad, like uh, you're not gonna suffer from that, but I'm I'm addicted. When I like something, I like to do it a lot. Uh, when I I do unicycle, I do it a lot. Uh, I'm just made like that. So I need to restrict the things that are unhealthy because I get addicted too much. So, yeah, the biggest thing uh, that I found is the taste in my mouth. Like, uh, I feel like when you smoke weed, Start by not tasting uh, your mouth anymore, like, uh, yeah, so it, I feel like it's pretty good into the mouth, like, uh, I feel like it, it's become more healthy, um, you see, like, the, when the smoke it does some resin, it goes in your mouth, uh, on your teeth, everything, maybe it, it put a layer on top of it and it protect it from some stuff, but itself it's bad like uh it, it's toxic stuff for sure like uh, yeah uh my health overall i feel like i have more energy like for sure the weed we all know it's reduced the energy but um when you buy weed nowadays you can read the description <clears throat> and the effect of the weed and i was buying weed that was giving more energy it was stimulating the energy and the creativity stuff like that so I was still able to function pretty good during my day without uh, being too too much down. But I, I really see the effect. Uh, I think all that resin inside of you, that black black stuff that is inside your bong when you smoke with it, it's it's great quick, seriously. Um, yeah. So uh, even on the skin, I feel like my skin. Uh, I, I had some. Um, my my skin they became really dry during a moment, and uh, I had a bit of dead skin, but it it, it was just like a phase. I feel like uh, so, uh, my eyes are better, but uh, I I got sick. Uh, I don't know if it's something I eat or just because I I met more people. Uh, like I got sick during a long time, and then I kind of regained. But during that moment when I was sick, it lasted almost two years and I did not see a lot of people during that time. And I feel like now that I I start to retry to go outside and see some people, I just cut some <laughs> some stuff from the people and it's, it's just regular, like, um, yeah. But overall, my eyes are better most of most of the time, I feel like, right? <laughs> it's probably not the best time to speak about that. But, you know... Who care? Uh, if the appearance was the only thing I wanted from that, I would probably not quit because I don't care about the appearance. So yeah, uh, in the sport, the energy, I feel like I have way easier time to do sport. Like for sure, it give me some energy. Um, I had the habit to smoke before it. Uh, I, I don't know if it was good or bad, like I feel like it never stopped in me, but uh, yeah. And um, on the libido, it's way easier to control myself, like uh, for the um, semen retention, stuff like that. It's way easier to control myself when I'm not on weed. Uh, I feel like the weed gives you a higher libido or something, so yeah. I feel like this is way easier to do that. Um, the food, you know, the moon cheese is something like you get used to it. When I quit, I had um easy time to not eat too much. But uh, I'm someone who like eating food. When I got something I like, I, I abuse. So I need, I still need to take care about that. But it's way easier for me to not have huge moon cheese. If I eat it smaller portion but more often in my day instead of eating two or three times but big 
chunk of food that just make me make my, my belly like whoop, expand for no reason so yeah the moon cheese was i had some like my moon cheese was hard like i was doing a huge rice meal with like a bunch of vegetable and meat and like really big and when i, I was eating it was big for no reason uh, i feel like the size of my meal is smaller and, and it, i like that uh, it's way more healthier like that uh, seriously and yeah um i start smelling more the stuff around too you know when you smell uh, when you smoke you lose the st the sense of smell so yeah smelling the stuff around and it, it help uh it help uh, in real life like yeah you make you feel life and feeling life is kind of important this is one of the main reason i like to do sport you feel yourself you feel the stuff around you you use your sense and that, that's pretty good so a lot of people speak about taking cold shower i did not do that um I'm that when I go outside and it's cold, I just assume it stuff like that. But I really wanted to quit weed, so I did not needed something like cold shower to help me. But I feel like someone who do bigger drug and have big addiction into it better take cold shower. But for me, I loved weed and I had no good reason to stop it. I had to convince myself that it's not good for me and change the way i think uh changing my friend all, all the friend around me that was smoking we just stopping to see them during two year helped me a lot to just change that mindset now when i go outside uh, on the side of the river uh I, I go on the side of the river with some friend they smoke a joint on the side of me and i just don't smoke like uh yeah uh, but I did bring two beer, uh, but the beer with high percentage, you know, like uh, I, I don't want to quit uh, everything. I want to quit what I am addicted to and I am addicted to weed. I'm not addicted to alcohol. Like uh, I don't like alcohol that much. It's fun to do it. But uh, you know, when you you like take alcohol two or three days in a row, you feel so bad. Like nah, man, it's not made for me. So yeah, it just that I, I have easy time to not go into the excess and yeah. But the thing is, uh, I need to take care when I come back because my I, I got some alcohol in my blood and uh, can get arrested by the police. So I need to take care what what I do. I come back with bicycle and I need to ride straight because they can the the police can arrest you even on a bicycle, you know. So yeah. Oh, and that time I feel like I was wasting time. You know, every time you you, you take a uh, stuff like that, you grind your weed, you put it, and you smoke it. Uh, it. It just takes some time. How many time of your day you spend just grinding weed, preparing it, and smoke it? it don't seems like a lot. Maybe it's like what between 15 to 30 minutes per day you do that but after a year uh, that's a lot of day it's 300 uh, time 30 minutes that's a lot so you see when you think about that so we are wasting uh, uh, someone who take weed is wasting a lot of time preparing joint or just smoking it overall it's a waste of time the weed don't cause that much. It's not like a problem for most of the people. It's not gonna ruin ruin, uh, <laughs> ruin you. <laughs> Damn, I cannot say ruin ruin <laughs> you. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, it, it's still uh, you can still see a difference into your your money for sure, even if it's not ruining you overall. So you see, the weed is giving you. a peaceful mindset when you smoke weed most of the people are gonna be like oh i don't want to fight peace and love and stuff but when you quit weed you become way more vulnerable to 
everyone would just want to make you react so you need to take huge care about that i try to contain myself and i try to dodge instead of facing the problem i try to dodge but when i see something really bad i just try to go to find the proper word to express myself and if i i i, I say i cannot manage to i just send some insult and go at the same time uh, i know how to fight so for me it's pretty hard when someone is i i see that he's not in shape and he want to fight like Bro, you really want to try? Like, just make no sense. At this point, you you have to see it like uh, this dude is weak. Uh, it's because he's weak that he's overreacting, and you don't have to be like on that subject. I, the last time it it happened to me, uh, I was coming back from my house with a bike and, and my dog from the river i had drink uh, my two beer but it's far enough to make me not drunk but just a just a feeling you know and yeah the 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 dog of the dude came out from the yard it's 11 p.m i was i was coming i had a good run this dog came out of the yard and, and run into my bike and make me fall and at this point i i really wanted to to do something but I, tr I I just throw a couple insult and go even if I hurt myself. Uh, I start to. My finger is now okay. You see, it was just a small thing, and uh, but yeah, I had uh, some pain <laughs> a bit on the other place, but it, there was no blood. Uh, but yeah, like at this moment, I had the power to just go and fight the dude. Uh, he was fat. He had no physical health. At this point, I just tell him, uh, learn to control your dog. And if, every time he was speaking, I was just saying the same thing. Learn to control your dog. Learn to control your dog. And I did not give him any space to to speak or room to speak. So I expressed myself. He did not have the potential to do something. And if he was coming into the street to fight me, he was into the trouble. And uh, I can defend myself, so I'm not scared uh, but yeah, at this moment, uh, if I was on weed, I would probably just fall and rise up and keep going. You see what I mean? And forgetting that I have pain. Pain is not something really huge. Like uh, if you don't break a bone or something and you're a man, you're supposed to be able to just go back up and go. Like uh, if you're not bleeding by huge stuff. So yeah, since I, I quitted weed, I have hard time to... I don't have hard time to sleep, but um, I sleep less longer. But I do some like I I do some nightmare. Like when I was young, um, I, I got some trauma, and I was doing some nightmare. But I I was always dodging my nightmare, and and I found a way to realize that I am into a nightmare and wake up. So I always dodge them, and since I'm not on weed, I, the, I I see them way more frequently and more often because you know I was deleting myself at this moment. But instead of, of dodging them, I I find the energy to face them and try to understand my nightmare, and I feel like this is really powerful and. Uh, Make me realize something. I see some people from my past, and uh, yeah, inside of me, it make me sometimes I, I wake up and I'm mad or pissed, but it come back after a moment that I I just need to think about it. Okay, what happened? What does that mean? Does it mean something or not? Like. You, we can see into the Bible. There's some people that interpret dream, but it's per, most of the time it's not deep like that. Like uh, some people hurt you and you dream about it. It's just normal. You need to face it a couple times just to, I don't know, to close the wound or something. It's pretty hard to explain that part. Seriously, um, yeah, way more nightmare recently. But you know. Um, like I said, I have the strength to face it. And yeah. So I think it's this for the moment. I wish you guys a good day. Peace out.